This video will demonstrate how to design a fully restrained bolted flange plate moment connection along with a shear tab in VA Connect. Let's get started. In this example, we will design the flange plates and shear tab to connect a W18 by 50 to the flange of a W14 by 99 as shown in the detail. VA Connect designs this connection according to the AISC design specifications. Since this connection could experience moment reversal from the lateral loads, two load sets will be used with the moment from wind being opposite in each load set. VA Connect assumes that the flange plates resist all of the moment and the axial load while the shear tab carries all of the shear force. Therefore, the shear tab is designed to resist the shear directly without any eccentricity. We will start out in VA Connect by adjusting the geometry of the connection. Selecting the beam, a W18 by 50 will be chosen from the shape database. In the material database, we see A992 grade 50 steel is used by default. Next, we will adjust the thickness of the support to be equal to the flange thickness of a W14 by 99 column. Selecting the shear tab, we will use three 3 quarter inch diameter bolts as a first try and leave the thickness at a quarter inch and the material set to A36 steel. We will set the width of the flange plates to 7.5 inches to equal the flange width of the beam. Note the bolted flange plates are assumed to have the same parameters at the top and bottom flanges in VA Connect. Now with the geometry roughed in, we can look at the project status to see that the detailing is OK since the numerous checks pass. Next we will move on to apply the loads to the connection. For our first load set we will enter the values for the dead load and the wind load. For this load set, the wind load moment places the top flange in tension. Next, we will create a second load set and enter the values for the dead load and the wind load. The wind load now applies moment in the opposite direction that places the top flange in compression. With the surface level loads defined, we can go to the load case manager and select which building code we want to use for the load combinations, which are automatically implemented. With the load specified for the connection, we can now turn our attention to the project status to see the numerous limit states that are automatically checked. Immediately, we see that about half of the limit states are failing, indicating that we need to make some modifications to the connection. Doing a quick scan, we see that the bolts are failing, the shear tab is failing for several limit states, the top flange plate is failing in tension, and the welds to the support do not have enough capacity. Clicking on any limit state produces a detailed calculation for the controlling load set and load case. For the top flange plate and tension, load set 1 controls with a factor of 1.2 on the dead load. For the top plate and compression, load set 2 controls with a 0.9 factor on the dead load, which makes sense since the dead load moment opposes the wind load moment. Switching back to the model view, we can now quickly modify the parameters of the connection to get the limit states to pass. First, we will select the shear tab and increase the number of bolts to 4, which satisfies the bolt shear and also satisfies all the limit states for the shear tab except block shear. To address this, we could increase the shear tab's thickness, but it might be more economical to increase the edge distance to the bolts. To increase the capacity of the flange plates, we will change the thickness to 1 inch, and now we see the unity value is less than 1 for the top plate in tension and less than 1 for the bottom plate in compression. To address the failing flange bolts, we can simply specify that the threads be excluded from the shear plane. If this is not practical, however, we can use threads included and specify stronger bolts. To get the weld from the flange plate to the support to pass, we could opt to use full penetration welds. Alternatively, we can increase the fillet weld size to 7 16 Now all the limit states pass and the detailing of the connection is satisfactory. With the design complete, we can switch to the reports view to easily create a report to document our work. A concise design summary is automatically generated showing the unity values for each limit state. Also, we can add a detailed report showing the calculations for each limit state or summary tables for each limit to the report. In just a few minutes, we have used VA Connect to create an optimal design for our bolted flange plate connection and to produce a report to document our work. To try VA Connect for yourself, 
head over to our website and download the free trial.